Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today and this bag has a box in it. So it's come to me from the lovely people at fgnormal.com. Um, I've had quite a few PR packages from them in the past and they said, would I like to have some more to show you? Yes, of course. I've been smashing the specials with a lot of their products. So look out for the reviews and unboxings on their previous FG Normal products as well. But let's get into this and see what we got this time. So we have oh, a diamond painting. And we have ooh, quite a big box. Ooh, look at that. And then we have oh, a diamond painting pen. <laughs> So there are lots of special offers on at uh, FG Normal at the moment. If you go and check the website out, free shipping if you spend over £29. There are various offers with 8% off and things, so go and have a look. I'll put some screenshots in as well. And if you buy four items, you will only pay for three. So an item free, yeah, we like free. Okay, quick look at the little diamond painting pen first. Oh, this looks interesting. I'm going to use the box to uh, lean on and keep you guessing as to what's in it. Oh, I think you can see what this one is. So, oh, oh she says I can't even get into it, this pen now. Look, it's going to sit forever if I can't get into the packets. I'm no good at opening packets, I tell you. Oops, stay there. Let's see what all the little extra bits are that we've got. Right. Oh, we've got a magnifier. Oh, we <laughs> definitely need one of those. Right, so it's a nice red pen and it's all like metal uh, body and metal end there. Is it a is it a light? Let me have a look. We maybe need to put batteries in possibly. It's a, a diamond painting tool pen, LED, uh, point, point drill bit pen with magnifier. So I need to put some batteries in this so I'll uh, pop and get some later on. So which end do you put your batteries? Let's have a look. Oh, it doesn't matter. You can put them in either end. I would think they're going to be AAA batteries. So we need to have a look at that. Nice build this. Nice. Uh, feels nice quality. Oh, don't squeak. Cat do we squeaking. Ooh. Uh, yep. So you've got your single play set already in there, which will come out if you want to swap it out for your multiplayer set. And it looks like we've got three multiplayers there as well. So, yeah, and actually, I suppose like once it's got the batteries in, there will be a bit more weight to it. And um, it depends what you like with your diamond painting pen. Some people like a heavier pen, some people like a lighter pen. Uh, depends what you get used to, but that's quite a nice chunky one to hold. And you've got your little bit of grip down at the bottom there as well. Okay, so still crushed uh, and not very good multiplacer card that I made. <laughs> So is that a nine placer? So that's a nine. So is this one going to be a six then? That one's a six. And that one's a three. Yeah, it's quite a standard thing um, with multi -placers. These are all the old larger multi -placers as well, uh, where you get a three, a six and a nine. Um, it's not something I do, to be fair. I like to just single place. Uh, but if you do like your multi -placing, then you've got three extra multi -placers there. And then we have a little magnifier, which I can't get out. So let me grab my scissors and have a look at this. Okay. So let's see. Oops, let's magnify this bit. See if you can uh, see. Oh, yeah, you can see. Look, it does magnify. Just make it look bigger. Okay. And what about the other side? Oh, yeah, magnifies on both sides. So... Okay, and then that just clips onto the pen. So if, as you're diamond painting, you can't quite see what you're doing, uh, I'm presuming this is going to light up somehow. And then you've got your little magnifier there, so you can be diamond painting along, just click your little light on, and you've got your little magnifier to look through. Uh, I'll have to have a go at using that. Um, I have seen them before, and I've had something similar. Uh, but to be honest, I ended up gifting it. I didn't uh, end up trying it. So I'm going to try this one and see what it's like. 
because uh, as I say, I do use a magnifying light when I'm diamond painting. But sometimes I don't always want to like get my big light out, my big uh, magnifying light. So if this works, it would be quite handy to just sit and uh, just do them on my knee. So yeah, okay, so that's that one. And that one was on special offer at 49 pence. So yeah, for 49 pence, it's worth it for the magnifier. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to leave the box till last. So we'll have a look at this picture. All right, and this one uh, is just a little bit different. And I do like some help for something a little bit different and a little bit quirky. That box is going to get in the way now. The price of this one was £3.99. And it is a Halloween picture. But it's all in purple and black. And I thought, oh, how different is that? That's really good. And we've got like this uh, scary pumpkin-like teapot, all in purple rather than your standard orange. We've got these little flowers with like little skeleton heads in the middle. And then we've just got a little ghost popping through. He's just uh, saying, oh, hello, I'll just pop through this shortcut here. Uh, it looks like we've got some uh, candy corn sweets down here. We don't have these in the UK, but I have seen them in the US. They're usually orange, aren't they, and white. And then I think these are possibly bats up here. I don't know whether they're part of the flowers or whether they are bats. I think that looks a bit bat-like, doesn't it? But I just thought, oh, I've not seen anything like that before. And a different colour palette as well. So, yeah, we'll get that one and have a look. Okay, it's a 30 by 40. It's all crystal drills and it is a partial. So it's only like the main parts on the picture that have any gems on them. Um, the background doesn't have any gems on, so they are uh, quite a bit quicker to do. Special drills. You do get your extra sparkle because they tend to come with special drills and all crystals and sparkly drills. And yeah, just something, if you're doing a big painting, just something to do in between possibly. Uh, or if you're anything like me, I love doing my special drills. And then I like collecting all the drills that are left over as well. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at these drills. There is 10 different uh, gems and colours in this one. Pen, boat and wax, your little standard toolkit. I would think it says 30 by 40, but I think the actual canvas size, this one is 24, which is nine and a half inches by 34, which is 13 and a quarter-ish inches. So, nice size. Just needs to go under something heavy. It's just got a few creases as it's come through uh, the shipping, wrapped around the drills. But yeah, just thought, oh, I like the colours on that. If it had been hot pink, I would have fallen in love with it desperately. But uh, purple will do. I don't like the little ghost. There. But yeah, they're different. I've never seen anything uh, in designs like that with a little um, skull head as the middle of the flower. Ooh. But it's not too scary, is it? You know, if you're wanting to put it up and you've got little ones uh, or anybody that's easily scared, then it's not a particularly scary picture. In fact, to be honest, I think if you had this on your wall, with it being purple rather than the orange and things that Halloween things normally are, somebody would have to probably come and look at it really, really closely to uh, actually see what it was. Uh, they probably wouldn't realise. They'd probably just think it was a teapot with flowers in it, not that they're spooky ones for Halloween. <laughs> right, so where's the opening? All right. Ooh, ooh, we've got a green, an emerald green in it as well. Oh, that's for the leaves, of course. Silly me, I'm thinking, well, where would the green go? On the leaves, Liz, yeah. <laughs> so that is gorgeous, look, a nice emerald green. We've got a very pale purple. And that one's like a blue, sort of bluey purple. A little bit of your standard silver and a little standard black acrylic gem there. More of a medium purpley colour. Then we have some marquees with this lovely iridescent coating on in purple. We have some larger black drills there in rounds. We have some marquees in deep purple. And then we have some smaller marquees in a very baby pink. That's really, really cute. So, yeah, I think they're going to be the ones that are dotted around that you can just see. 
just little bits dotted around on them. Ooh. Oh, looking forward to doing that one. So it'll be just something a little bit different and I do like to look for things that aren't just uh, the standard thing. We'll just have a go at doing something a little bit uh, different and a little bit. A little bit different and a little bit quirky. Okay, let's pop that to one side. And then this item. Oh, can't wait to look at this. I saw it a while ago and I thought, oh, shall I, shan't I? And then I thought, no, I am going to get it because it's just wonderful. And I'm hoping, I mean, it's big. So I'm hoping it's if it's as big as this, it's uh, bigger than I expected. How many times do I say that on diamond paintings? Right, so the cost of this one was £11.99. But when I show you it, I think you'll understand why. Okay. So look, we have a fully framed canvas with a little gnome on it. Look at that. Is he not cute? Oh, look at that. And he's managed to get himself all taffled up in the Christmas tree lights. Yeah, been there, done that. <laughs> Trying to put the lights out on the Christmas tree and end up wearing them. Because uh, you think, right, I'll just put that over there while I just unwind that and put that over there. And uh, yeah, so he's got a bit taffled. He has got some lovely presents under these trees though as well. But I just thought, I've just got to have that. That's super. And it is light up as well. So you have your little battery compartments underneath here. It's actually um, an acrylic frame, a plastic frame. But look how chunky it is. Look at the size of it. You've got a little hanging space there, or you could just use command strips. It is quite heavy though, and I think once I get my batteries in, it'll be even heavier. Let me just see, we want one, two, three double, uh, AA batteries, I think it's looking like. These battery things off from down there. Yeah, they're double A's, and you've actually got two little, um, two little compartments open up to put your batteries in yeah so you can put one there and then one goes through the middle there and one there okay so what's that bit for then I wonder if that's I think that's just uh, for I don't know I wonder if that's standing on something or maybe that's just for poking the batteries out if you can hmm. I'm not sure what that little hole is there that's an extra little hole and then we've got a little button just on the top there look you just see get it into focus there it is oh and it's got a nice click to it as well so it is all fixed in the frame so you can't take it out of the frame it's got your standard little cover sheet on it is a partial so none of the background is decorated it is just your little gnome your little gonk can't see his eyes so he's a gonk are a goblin. I've noticed quite a few um, of the website sites describe these as goblins. So, yeah, but I just thought this was super. I think for eleven ninety nine, it's a really good size, isn't it? Let's give it uh, a quick measure. But of course, was the crow? Well, isn't it a tape measure? So it's just over nine inches, which is twenty three centimeters, and the size of the actual picture in size, the little canvas is about seven between seven and a quarter and seven and a half inches which is just about eight and a half centimeters so yeah I just thought, oh, i'm gonna have to have that um whether he'll go on the wall or whether he'll stand on the mantelpiece or in front of the fire i'm not quite sure we have a pen boat and wax and a few little rip seal bags and he is all crystals and we've got some specials in there as well i'm thinking the specials are going to be little marquees which are the lights that he's got himself stuck with <laughs> what a state to be in but yeah just a lot of fun um, and a nice as a present for somebody as well and probably nice as a night light as so i will go and get some batteries and i'll see if i can find some batteries for that pen and we'll have a look at them lit up have a look at these gems first so we have 11 have we 11 different gems and colors and we're starting off with a standard crystal and a nice christmas red and a christmas gold and a very pale pink which is that i'm thinking is possibly his nose 
uh, a little bit of a palish green and then some larger red rounds and some larger crystal rounds and then some more specials oh we have one star for the end of his hat just to pop on there look and we have some oh look at those turquoise little marquees so see, i think these are going to be the lights that are all wrapped around him nice quick and easy one to do this because there's not actually that many gems to put on it but still very very effective once it's done and then we've got some little silver marquees and some little gold marquees so your lights are silver and gold and turquoise now obviously if you've got any spare gems and wanted to add any extra into that you could do yeah so we're eight nine and ten which is eight nine and ten yeah it looks like they've got more than um just three colors on these that's like a purpley color and that's like a little bit of a red color so you could always add if you've got any spare ones in this size yourself you could always add some extras in which i may just do because if you've seen any of my kitten downs into my specials you'll realize i have got quite a few special drills spare so i may just do that but there's nothing wrong with doing it with just the colors that they give you it will still look really really good okay so let me go and see if i can find those batteries and i will be back in a second okay so oops right i've been and got the batteries <laughs> uh, amazon as always for batteries right this one this one actually takes two AAA batteries so I just pop the two in and put the end back on oops oh. <laughs> oh dear if there's a right and a wrong way to do anything you can guarantee i always do it the wrong way do you know i've just done this downstairs to check how many batteries i needed and i did it straight away no problem do it on camera phew, no chance so yeah it lights up so you've got your little magnifier to look through Actually, it's quite good. It is a uh, pretty good magnifier. Very good. See if you can see. I know there's a bit of the glare on the light. Yeah, you can see, look. And then you've got your light if you need it as well. Excellent. So that's the pen. Right, let's have a look at these. And which way around are we going? That way. So, oops. <laughs> so that's one two and then push that in there three oh and it's on look oh look he lights up so oh yeah oh and there's like a silvery can you i don't know whether it can pick this up or not but there's like a silvery edging all of the edges all the way around the uh, little gonk and the presents there's like a silver line that lights up all the way around. It's not quite showing up on camera, I don't think. Does it show up on the star? If I get, yeah, you can see it, look. It's like a, it looks like a raised silvery edge. So it just makes it stand out that little bit more. Oh, that's excellent. I love that. And I think for the price, uh, yeah, that is brilliant. Really good. Oh my goodness, Christmas can't come soon enough. No, no, do scrap that. Uh, yeah, I've got Christmas shopping and things to do way before then. And I've got Halloween anyway to do before then. So, yeah, and there'll be November as well to do. Ah, I could do him in November. Yeah, so, yeah, there's an event uh, in November that uh, Mindy, Mindy's Diamond Moment does. And, uh, yeah, it's all things gonks and gnomes uh, and canvases and lots of prizes and things to win. So, yeah, I... Uh, We'll possibly save him for that one. <laughs> but yeah, he's excellent. So we'll switch him off. Okay, and then the little uh, battery holders, the little covers, will just slip back on. So yeah, they're a little bit stiff at the minute, but you don't, you don't want them to be too slack. Otherwise, I'm, I'm pressing it, look, so it's coming on because uh, the little buttons at the bottom, uh, you don't want them to be too slack. Otherwise, they're going to come off and you'll lose them. Right, excellent. Oh, I love these. I've had a lot of fun looking at these. I don't I like things that light up as well. <laughs> at least I've not had to build this. Um, it has come all as is. 
so uh, there won't be a building video on this one there will just be a completion review <laughs> Okay, well, uh, we've had our just a little bit different Halloween picture, all in a different colour palette. Very nice. It'd so, be interesting to see, getting this on the wall, how many people notice that it is actually a Halloween picture. <laughs> and then our gorgeous little gong that all lights up is fabulous. And yeah, until you light it up, you don't realise you've got that silver edge into everything. So that is fantastic. Really, really pleased with these. Huge thank you, FG Normal, for sending me them. I do love them, as always. And then our little pen that lights up as well. Yay! <laughs> okay well i hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me if you have a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and if you want to come back and see what i get up to next then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you're not going to miss anything yay okay thanks ever so much for stopping by and i do hope to see you all again soon bye for now